guys. So, do you guys notice anything different about my hair? Yes, it's straightened. And yes, I got it cut. So, this is how long it is. It is still long, but that's because it's straight. Um, if I had my hair naturally wavy at the moment, it would probably be up to here. So, that is pretty um, short for what I'm used to. My hair is usually down to like probably past my, a little bit past my butt. But I recently got it cut, and uh, how do you guys like it? My hair is really, really thick, and it gets tangled easily. It's heavy. When I put it in a bun, it like gives me headaches. It's really, really hot, and that's why I decided to cut my hair. But yeah, I posted this picture on Instagram. And I'm going to try to film with my hair wavy next time so you guys can see the difference of it being wavy um, and how much I cut. I probably cut, I think, like four to five inches off my hair. And um, then I just got long layers. She did such a good job. Yeah, now it feels healthy. It looks healthy. Um, and it's light. It's really, really light. And I put my hair in a bun, I think, on... Saturday when I went to work and it just it just feels so much lighter you guys so that is why I cut my hair so let me know how you guys like it anywho other than my hair I wanted to show you guys um, an unboxing and I ordered some stuff from Sephora actually Irving bought half of it and then I bought the other half and yeah this is $200 worth of makeup and it doesn't even feel like it <laughs> But yeah, usually Sephora obviously is pretty pricey, so you're not really going to get a lot for your buck. But Ulta, on the other hand, you can get a lot of stuff for very, very cheap. So we're going to do that, and I also have something else special to show you guys that I was so happy I found today. And um, yeah, let's just get started with the Sephora haul. And shout out to Irving, thank you for coming in and buying me makeup. This is a good boyfriend. <laughs> After this video, me and Irving are going to shoot a video. Um, he came up with a good idea. So he's basically going to be guessing my like how how much my makeup is. I decided to shoot it and he came up with a really good idea that we're going to try out like a kind of like a twist sort of. So I'm excited to film that with him. So we'll probably film this film it after this. So yeah. Alrighty then. So I got some samples. I got the NARS bronzing powder. I actually never tried the Laguna one. Um, I got the Dior mascara. And I also got a Prada candy perfume. I like, I like showing you guys samples. Let's see if this smells good. Mmm, that sounds really good. Oh, also, oh, I didn't know I was going to get this. So, um, if you purchased anything from that week, I think, um, you got, like, a free sample of, like, perfumes. So, holy crap, I got a lot of samples of perfumes. This is, um, St. Laurent. Holy crap, Dolce & Gabbana. Nest. This candy one by Prada smells really good. Um, clean. Um, Versace. Erin. Whatever that is. And Replica. So yeah, if you bought anything, um, you get this with the purchase. So I got like probably a good amount of freaking perfumes. And then I also got a Stila. Um... Stay all day liquid lipstick. You guys know how much I love liquid lipsticks. So let's swatch it and see. Oh, this is really pink. But it's really pretty. I like it, but really pink. I guess it can match my lip color almost. So, anywho, let's just get started. I'm so excited, you guys. I love, I actually kept this box for like a good week so I can film this unboxing. Okay. So the first thing, <laughs> so the first thing I got is the Anastasia highlighter 
and it was by Ambrizi, right? I think she's, I guess she's a YouTuber. I don't watch her. Um, but yeah, this is probably the most talked about highlighter and I wanted it so bad. Look at this packaging. Can we talk about the packaging? Holy crap. So pretty. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. It's so cool because it looks, it has like waves in it. I don't even want to swatch this because it's so pretty. I'm going to swatch it. Ooh, it feels so buttery. This is so pretty. I feel like this goes with like, this is like the type of highlight that goes with like any skin tone. It's so pretty. I swear this camera's washing it out, but it looks so gorgeous. And in the pan, it even looks like blinding. I got two Stila Glitter and Glow, the liquid eyeshadows. And honestly, I love these so much. I actually have one of them, which is Kit and Karma, and I actually have them on the lid right now. They're so, so pretty, so worth the hype. And uh, they're very effortless. Like, they're so easy to work with, and that's why I love these. So the first shade I got is Wanderlust. Now Wanderlust, it seems like it has like a light gold with like flecks of pink and gold. The other one that I got is Bronzed Bell. I'll swatch Kit and Karma so you guys can get an idea. Kit and Karma is probably one of my favorites. These are kind of pricey, but I highly recommend them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I have the Kat Von D bronzer palette the shade and light palette is it shade and yeah shade and light palette and um honestly i love kat von d's brand it's so awesome that she can incorporate i've said this before that she can incorporate her tattooing designs into her makeup and that's one thing that i think is so dope so I got the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and um, I just wanted an everyday palette and something new that I wasn't going to get bored of, and honestly, I think I have the uh, contour palette on today, and I love that palette so much, and I think the colors are so awesome in it, perfect for bronzing. But yeah, this palette looks so dope and I just love her stuff. I think it's like awesome for like any like makeup collector's item. Like it looks so, so pretty. So yeah, let's open this up. And yes, just I just really wanted a neutral palette um, that I can use every single day, take it with me traveling and all that. So yeah, I decided to get this. This is like my this is my everyday palette these are gonna be my shades and yeah i love how neutral they are and then you get some red some browns a black highlighter you get everything in this palette i've been actually eyeballing this for such a long time and i do have one of her other kat von d palettes i got this palette this was the um monarch eyeshadow palette and i love this one too this one's like really, really pretty. So, um, yeah. And I like how she changed the packaging to like not this like cardboard, but actual like plastic packaging. It looks so cool. But yeah, I love this one. I, the reason why I don't reach for this one is because it's a limited edition palette and it's not out. But I love this one a lot. And I remember doing an eyeshadow tutorial on it and then it was, you couldn't find it anywhere. So, um, yeah, that's why I like this one and I can actually use this and do tutorials on it because it is in her um, permanent lines. So let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this because it's so pretty. So 
the next one I got is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. They actually repackaged it and I don't know if it's like a different formula or not. I haven't tried the other one but I really wanted it so bad because obviously chocolate, it smells like chocolate. But yeah, the packaging on this is so pretty. I feel like most of these I just want for the packaging. <laughs> but yeah, it looks so gorgeous. It has like the gold detailing and um, I have to smell it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love makeup that smells good. Like, it smells so good. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this. I've been really like bronzing it up. Like, as you guys can see, I love like the harsh bronzer. Yeah, I'm excited to try that out. And I think this is the last product. Like I said, you guys, this was $200 worth. That was a quick $200, right? So, last but not least, I haven't tried this before, and I know I'm so late to the game, but uh, at least I bought it, right? This is a Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. The reason why I was kind of like not wanting this is because I waste powder like crazy. The powder flies everywhere. That's why I like the um, Cody Airspun because it's inexpensive, and I can just throw the powder on my face and I don't I don't have the regret of wasting it you know what I'm saying and that's why I was kind of like should I buy the Laura Mercier powder even though a lot of people are talking about it and so I just decided to do it anyways and maybe like I'll use it like on tutorials or like special occasions and stuff but yes I got finally the Laura Mercier powder in translucent so yeah I'm excited to try this but like I said I'm going to use it very wisely. I'm not going to do it like the Cody Airspun. Like, honestly, I don't care if any of that stuff spills because it's only like six, seven bucks. But Laura Mercy, pretty pricey. Okay, so that's it for the Sephora haul. Now, something that I was so excited to see at Walmart. I was so excited. So, um, I recently went on Physicians Formula and I wanted their bronze palette or their it says it's butter collection palette so basically they have the butter bronzer they have the blush they have two highlighters and a perfume and i was looking for that on physiciansformula.com i went ordered it and then like i think like a few days later i get an email saying it was sold out pissed they refunded my money and they also gave me a 50 percent off coupon code and i was like are you kidding me like at least like you know make sure that you have this stuff before you get my hopes up right went to walmart you guys and i was so excited to see this this isn't this wasn't even in the physician's formula aisle like where they have all their makeup at it was like by like the hair ties and stuff so if you guys are looking for this palette make sure you don't look in where they um have their makeup make sure you look like on the side of the aisles or like any other aisle close to the makeup section because they almost made me miss this so yeah i got two of them because they are limited edition but you guys so this is the physician's formula butter collection they only had medium deep they have the light to medium but they were sold out so i was like whatever i'm gonna get it anyway so this is what it looks like i'll take the plastic thing so you guys can see it it has the butter bronzer it has the butter blush and it also has two highlighters and then it comes with the perfume and I'm guessing the perfume is exactly what it smells like for the butter bronzer. I say that I am obsessed with the butter bronzer um, smell. It smells so good. So I'll swatch these for you guys and hopefully they come on camera. But I was so excited. So I think this was like 10 to 12 bucks or I think it... It was like 11 to 12 bucks I want to say so I was so excited when I saw this and yeah so I bought two of them I don't know I was thinking about doing a giveaway let me know if you guys would be interested in a giveaway um but yeah maybe we'll see we will see honestly I think the medium the medium deep isn't really like like it looks good it doesn't look like harsh on me so and like I said I like a harsh bronzer so I don't I think it'll be good and this is the blush I heard the blush was all right it's kind of like not that 
blinding, but it's still there. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see. And then it comes with highlighter in full. Oh, holy crap. These feel like wet. And then this is in galactic. Oh my gosh, these feel so buttery. So we have bronzer and deep bronzer. We have the blush is called Vintage Rouge. Rouge. And then we have highlighter in Full Moon. And we have the highlighter in Galactic. These are so pretty. They're so blinding. Holy crap. And I thought that the um, this one on the bottom was going to be really chunky, but it actually isn't. I love how these feel. They feel wet and they feel so pretty on the skin. The perfume. You girl got a lot of perfumes. Like, I'm set. You guys. Oh. Mm. Sprayed too much. My nose. Oof. Oof. And this is um, in Butter Paradise, the perfume. So I have the actual butter bronzer here. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between the pan sizes. Oops. Okay. So this is the difference but in the pan sizes. But this alone is like $10. Pretty much it for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. Let me know if you guys like my hair. Should I have gone shorter? Should I dye it? Should I keep it long? <laughs> Let me know down below. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching. And um, look out for the next video. We'll be with Irving and he's going to be guessing some of this makeup. So I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys. Bye.